Hi, I'm Mike Leahy, and I'm the programmer for Chess Openings Wizard, the program that grew out of BookUp and BookUp 2000. I've made all kinds of videos that try to detail how stronger chess players use this program to get better and get better faster. But I just want to right now show you what I like about the program, the very basics of it, really. And what I'll I'll do that by sh creating a new ebook. And by this new, I'll call this guy horsing around. Yeah, just like that. Horsing around, because that's what I'm doing, horsing around. Let's move this uh, window down here so you can see more of it. And then stretch it out. There we go. So this is an empty ebook. So let me take you back about 27, 28 years ago now. Back when books were everything you had to have to study chess openings. And this, is, this software was the first of its kind. So it was called BookUp, and it was for an operating system called DOS, if you can remember that, that far back, long before Windows or Macintosh. And I was studying a book by an international master, and let's just, to protect the guilty, we'll call him John, mostly because his name is John. And John, this particular international master, wrote the book on the French defense, literally wrote the book. I just checked Amazon uh, just before I made this video. The fourth edition of that book is just out. So this guy knows his stuff when it comes to the French defense. And I'm playing the French defense. And if you don't know what that is, first of all, I'll flip it around so that black's at bottom because I play the French. It's a black defense. And it's basically when white plays e4, he plays e6. That starts the French. White almost always plays d4, and you play d5. And this is the core position in the French. At this point, they can play knight c3. And at that point, I'll play the win hour, and he'll probably advance, and I'll advance. Okay, fine. Let's go back to where he could have played instead knight d2, the Tarash variation. Or he could have gone back here and played e5, the advanced variation, at which point I'll play c5. And he could have played something funky like, I don't know, bishop uh, d3 or something. So now I'll back up, and this position is now gathering everything it knows about this position. It knows that knight c3, knight d2, and e5, and bishop b3 are all possible. And I can uh, change the diacritics, maybe make that a dubious move. And down here I can put in uh, comments like, you know, this is my secret French preparation. Dun, dun, dun. Instantly, everything is being saved here. But here's the cool thing. If I go back and play some other move order, like if you play d4, d5, and at this point uh, white plays the black mardimer gambit, I could go ahead and just take it, right? It doesn't know anything about this, and so nothing's appearing in the candidate moves, nothing's appearing down here in the comments. But if I back up, instead of playing d takes e4, if instead I play e6, the very second, the very fraction of a second that I drop that pawn on e6, it says, here's everything I know that white can try in this position. All the candidates that I've ever seen from another move order. It doesn't matter what the move order was. And these are the comments that you made about this particular position. Why is this so important? Well, again, back when uh, this international master, John, wrote the book on the French defense, I remember going through chapter 3, I think it was. And in chapter 3, he showed at some point a game by Yasser Sirwan playing black where he played bishop d7. Obviously not in this position, but bishop d7. And the author, John, poo-pooed this move, thinking it was not so good. And I think maybe Yasser may have drawn the game or possibly even lost the game, but it wasn't a good idea. Fast forward to chapter 8 of the very same book, and through a different move order, it arrived at the exact same position, and at this point, the author proudly exclaims that bishop d7 is a new and cool move that you should try. And I thought, wait a minute. I, as a rated like a 1500 player, would have never spotted that transposition. But here's the thing. The international master who wrote the book on the French defense obviously didn't spot it either. This is why this thing was so important, and this is what really got me juiced about my own software back when I made it almost 30 years ago, was that not only could I keep everything about my opening in one place, but I keep everything about every unique position in the same place. So if I imported tens or hundreds of thousands of PGN games, for instance, even if there's something in a sub-variation of a particular game, if it reached a certain position from some other game, or some of the line that I put in manual, just like I'm doing right now, it instantly, and I do mean instantly, brings up 
everything it knows about that position. All the moves that were played there, all the comments that were made, any diacritics, everything. Now, what I want you to do, if you're familiar with chess software, is contrast this approach to a game database and how long it would take if every time you reached a particular position, you had to go do a search for all games that reached that position and then got all the information from those games. It would take a while. This is being done instantly because this is not storing games. This is storing every single position in a high-speed index. That's what really turned me on about my software. And that's what turns me on about my software. So that's why I made this video, to give you an idea of what I, Mike Leahy, the programmer of Chess Openings Wizard and BookUp and BookUp 2000 before that, like about my own software. Hopefully you just download it and you're going to get a kick out of it too. Thanks.